Hello YouTube and welcome back to Old Flads. This is the forest and in the last episode we built a shelter and we built a fire. So that's going to hopefully keep enemies away. There's a starfish. Oh, just a texture. Yeah, we're, we're hopefully going to keep some enemies away and we're going to go and loot the aircraft. There's been some really curious things going on with the locals though. I mean, they're just going about their business. I thought... I thought they'd be like hostile, but they just don't. They don't seem to be paying me much mind. I'm happy with that, of course. That's that's fine. Uh, I don't want to sleep yet because we're in the day still. All these feathers floating off the birds. This is so cool. Okay, let's go and have a look at what we can pick up from here. I don't. I haven't looked too much at the survival. Oh wow, that was just the, that was just the sun glinting off the metal, was it? This game is incredible. So, like horror survival has gone through so many iterations, and so many people have tried it. And usually, it ends up as a multiplayer thing. But at the moment, I could see no reason why you'd want other people here. It's just 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 a sense of. There is a sense of being alone, yet because you've got so much stuff around you, it's like your mind's kept off of it. It's really, it's a really, it's a really interesting take on the, uh, on the survival aspect. So this is actually the forest itself, and I got attacked last time whilst I was just looting. I don't want any more rocks. There's loads of rocks. Where's all the loot? Have they picked the loot up? I really hope that's not the case. There's a rabbit there. Uh, what's that? What was that? Is that a turkey? It was a rabbit. It looked a lot bigger than that. I thought it was like a turkey or something. Okay, well, let's have a look in these. That's that gunshot again. Uh, they just There's not a lot of actually useful stuff in there. I can show you my inventory. What's in here? What were you carrying? Not a lot. The flashlight, that is very handy. Flashlights are good. Another one. I don't know if I need oh, a million of them, of course, but for now, that's fine. Can I do anything with that? No. There's some sticks. Okay, so there was actually really little loot. What can I do with these? What's that? Pick them up? Cool. Turns out I know how to use like circuit boards and stuff as well. That's wonderful. No doubt that will be in the crafting somewhere. So I think we've actually looted it. There wasn't as much here. I, d I wonder if the locals have picked it up. Cause it has been a few days because I've slept like twice. So let's go into my inventory. And this is what I've got. This is all my gear. So I've got some booze. Lowers energy. Can be used in crafting. So I can... I can use them together. What's this? Circuit board can be used in crafting. I don't know what that is yet. Restores energy, restores fullness. Ah, good. Right, so that's fine. I've got a snack there. And I've got some drink. So do I need drink? Probably didn't need drink. That's fine. So I've got a lighter, plastic torch, some cloth, some sticks, and some rocks. And some feathers. Okay, so we're actually in a pretty good way. So let's go back to here. So step three. Here is an example of two similar looking berries. One is edible, the other is poisonous. Overall leaf blueberries. Berries are an indigo colour and have a little crown on the tip. Be careful. Use reference to make sure you know what you're eating before you can eat it. Okay, so if there's something that can poison me, black twin berries. They're a shiny black colour and form in pairs. So where's health? I could really do with knowing about how to get through this so if I uh, let's try and find some berries so here's some berries and they look like the fine berries so I'm guessing that's that's good so there's plenty of them about so it means I can eat them and they'll replenish they, re they replenish a little bit of health by the looks of it eat you, they do a little bit then they're, they're not then you're not going to live off of them but they're there and I can eat them, so that's fine. It's the black ones I don't want to eat. I really... Oh. Oh dear. Oh dear, there's two of them. Where are they going? Again, they're just... They're just rocking about. 
I'm. I mean, I'm not. I'm not unhappy that they're not sort of attacking me. I think that's actually a good thing. It's gone really foggy again. Well, all in all, everything seems to be going, going pretty smoothly. Wow! Look at all that fog. I can't even see the sea. My fire's still going. I don't want to sleep yet. Let's go back into here. So we've gone through step three. Learn more about varieties in the food section. So I don't think those orange ones I can look at yet. I don't know if I've got to rank up to use them. So what's this? Storage. Log holder. Oh, temporary shelter. A log cabin. Wow. Uh, we should... We should definitely make a log cabin. That's going to take a lot, isn't it? How big is it? Oh, oh wow. Uh, it's very big. I want to make it on the beach. I'm really, really liking the idea of making this on the beach. There it is. Wow, that's going to take a hell of a long time to make. 82 logs. Uh, right. 82 is a lot. These, these seagulls just don't care. Right, let's go back in. I think we're going to need to make a log store then. Uh, so, is this storage? Custom building. A wall with a door. So, I can actually make my own buildings as well? Furniture? That's not open yet. Traps. A dead fall trap. A happy birthday trap. A noose trap. And food. I can make a garden and a rabbit cage. And they'll breed. Oh my god. This is the greatest. Boats. I can go out on the water, that means. I'm going to loot that next time. But what we're going to do now, we're going we're gonna to get a log store going so that I can actually gather some of these up. And then I guess uh, that will sort of just be a work in progress. And then I'll develop that further. So let's get our log store and plonk that there. That's fine. So how many sticks do we need? I need 16 sticks. So let's go out and make that. And sticks. So we've got some sticks. How many have we got? S three. That's fine. That log cabin needs 82 logs. So it's so many logs. I c that tree is really not having it, is it? We've got some more sticks. Don't run away, sticks. Come back, come back, come back, come back, come back. So once we've got them together, we'll be able to make our log store, and then, uh, like I say, it'll just be a work in progress. So as I'm, as we're playing through, we'll uh, we'll we'll just add logs to our, we'll add logs to our cabin, and then we'll eventually build our cabin, then whack a door on it, and what was that? What's that? There's a dude there. There's lots of dudes there. Just go about your business. Everything's fine. Good. Right, let's pick up these sticks and just get our log thing built. I haven't wandered too far from the plane crash at the moment because I don't want to get lost. But I don't know how big the forest is. So I don't know if it's Chernerous big or whether it's... Do I just walk over them to pick them up? Or do I actually have to pick them up? No, I've got to pick them up. I don't know, yeah, I don't know if it's Chernerous big. Oh, I can't carry any more sticks. Great, so I can only carry eight. But if it is, I mean, that means there's going to be lots of places to explore. And you know what would be really cool is if I could find a like a waterfall. I can, I imagine there's going to be like some mountainous areas within the forest. What was that? I imagine there's going to be like some mountainous areas, and they're going. To, this thing is this going to give me logs or? It doesn't look like a loggy tree. It's a lot smaller than the other ones. But if I could find, like, I bet waterfalls and like caves and stuff. And whilst I'm happy with this as a base camp, because really, oh, are you? Yes, you are still. There you go. You're coming down. Is this just like going to give me a ton of sticks, or is this going to give me logs? No, nope, loads of sticks. Good. So this is going to be enough sticks to do it. And whilst I'm happy with this place being my base camp. Can't carry any more raw fish, okay. 
what I'm uh, what I'm hoping to do is set up like a like a castle somewhere, like, and be the king of the forest. Just need these. Ah. Uh. Hi guys. Everything's fine. Uh, I'm just gonna back up. Uh oh, uh oh, yep. Do you stay away? Oh my, he's climbing a tree. He's cl he's climbing up the tree. Oh, that's not fair at all. He can jump from tree to tree, can he? They're all climbing trees. He's just jumped out of a tree. Oh my god. Okay, I need one more stick. Look, dude, I am. I'm just trying to build a log store. And your freaky naked ass needs to get away from me. He jumped from tree to tree like a, a freaking squirrel. So they're just. They were frolicking, and now that was. They, they look a little bit more hostile now. So if they can climb trees. I picked a really good spot here because otherwise they'd be jumping down on me all the all the time. It'd just be that'd be horrible. They've got a torch as well. Oh wow! That was so cool. Ah! Oh oh oh! Crap! Oh my god! I've walked over the fire. That's not good. Fire burns. Ah. Yeah, I'm on fire, I'm on fire! <laughs> run into the water, run into the water! I'm not on fire anymore. I'm unfired. Okay, that's going to do for this episode. I'm going to build the log storage, and then I'm going to get a few more logs, and then you'll join me next time, and we'll... We'll probably take a wander into the forest. But the locals have already made their intentions pretty clear to me, that uh, if I come too close... They're going to kill me. So anyway, thank you very much for watching. I've been Old Flads, this has been The Forest. And she'll see you next time. Cheers and goodbye.